What's up, everybody? Finally, I'm back playing Terminator 1, and I think we're gonna play San Francisco for today. Yes, it is. Okay, let's start. As soon as we start, there are two t uh, yeah lines coming up, and you can shoot them up there. down and where is the other one? Where are you? Yeah okay. I see you. Okay. Don't you please die? Okay. Now we gotta push no pull this first. <coughs> like this. <coughs> It shows the door and we're gonna open it, don't worry about it. Push it. And one more time, push it. Okay, I'm gonna push it one more time because when I'm climbing up my way up, it's gonna be easier to climb from here. I don't have to do a tricky jump for that if I push this one more time. So that's why I pushed it. Get out there and let me pull out my shotgun. for you guys so yeah and now uh, I encounter Pierre and he's a mysterious guy very magical guy he got some miracles he can disappear immediately yeah just like this one he just disappeared and you know and unfortunately this is not the only time we're gonna um, encounter him I mean and try to kill him at least so he's our enemy, he's also archaeologist like us and he's also after the skin and <coughs> he's working for Natla Natla or Natla or whatever you pronounce it, I don't know how to pronounce it properly to be honest okay now <coughs> well, of course I failed by the way this is our secret, the first secret of this level and there are totally four in this level. And could you please? Oh, come on. Why does it have to happen in all of my last place? I can't understand. Yeah, I failed again. I'm sorry for that. But this time I'm gonna make it. Trust me. Yeah, just like that. Jump and yeah. Okay. Well, it took so long, but anyway. It decided it. That's a good sight. Okay, now the first secret. And be careful, you don't want to fall off from this breaking platform. And this secret contains large med pack and shotgun shell. Alright. Now we're done with this section. I'm gonna save my game because I'm not sure if I have to do a running jump or standing jump. Yeah, running jump is enough. That's good. But in here, you got to make a standing jump like this. <coughs> and now, I'm sorry about my voice. It's not clear today. So I'm gonna have to clear my voice 
again and again in this video I believe so sorry about that okay now we open this door and we're gonna go there it's our objective in this level St. Francis Philip and by the way it's the most iconic <coughs> ga uh, level of this game and also one of the most iconic levels in all of the Tomb Raider history and although I prefer this game over anniversary to anniversary but in anniversary this level is much cooler I mean it's one of the few things anniversary is better than this game and this and it is that levels design in anniversary the level looks great and I'm gonna say my game here because I don't want to miss the secret but I got it yeah you have to be careful it's a little bit tricky jump you can also slide off immediately but I don't trust my skills in that so that's why I did a backflip okay, and it also contains shotgun shells and don't pull this lever don't pull this lever if you want to get the secret it is important so what you need to do is avoid this alligator just like I did but it was too close anyway and yeah here it is another shotgun shells a lot of shotgun shells in this level yeah let me check my ammunition for that yeah 16 pretty good and I don't want to yeah that's good uh, wrong way shit ok now we can finally pull this lever <coughs> yeah thank you Lara now we gotta kill this guy. Actually, I don't have to kill this guy, but I'm gonna kill it because I don't like it. I don't like the sound it makes. I don't like the movie it made. You know, I, I don't like anything about alligators in this game, and in all of the Tomb Raider games, especially in the last Revelation, they're so annoying. And just listen to this amazing music. It's awesome. Awesome. Three bats and we got three secrets. This is there is one more secret in this level, and I'm gonna get it now. And before I do that, I'm gonna save my game because it's a time secret, so yeah, just one chance. Okay, as soon as you climb down. I guess I'm gonna... no 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 I'm confused for a second, I'm sorry about that Okay Just climb down, you take a, a lot of damage but it's not important Okay And ignore the best right now And hurry up Oh! Just in time Magnum, ah. I hit these bats. And there's also one more outside, I believe. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Where are you? Ah, yeah. Over here. And also, we need to pull this lever. To open up the at the store. Room. Door. Anyway, now let's climb up and take the magnum ammo clips whatever you want to call it and kill this guy okay we still have two more levers to pull in order to open up all the rooms for us to finish the level and we need four, four keys in order to finish the level and they're they're all inside of these rooms 
so yeah if you open that Neptune room okay let's take this large med bag <coughs> And yeah, there's the only door we haven't opened yet. But uh, now we're gonna open it. Okay, now I'm not gonna go inside this yet. Because the level is at this floor. And also there are two bats. Going down. <laughs> okay. Now pull this funnel and we open all of the doors. Yay! <laughs> okay, now we can take this small med pack and we can take out this bed too. But where is it? Uh, yeah, die please. Uh, there are so many bats in this level <coughs> and I hate them like I said a million times before <coughs> okay let's climb up <coughs> and yeah I'm gonna take the Neptune room first it's this is an is the uh, said the highest floor, so that's why I'm I went this room first, yeah. And <clears throat> actually, there's no challenge in this room except for your um, oxygen bar, as you see at the very right. I mean, yeah, you, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Sorry about that. Sometimes I, I'm confused when I want to say something, and I couldn't. Um, how can I say I couldn't say it properly? Because I forget it. I'm still inexperienced in let's play, so that's the reason why. Okay, now. Climb down from here, and there's no room. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> at this room. And take out your pistols because there's one gorilla that wants to kill you. I'm not going along with this, and yeah, is that. Now I'm gonna save my game because there's a boulder trap, and I just don't want to die, and if I die. I don't want to start over again because it's been a while since I... No, actually... It hasn't been a while since I last say, but... I don't want to spend any more time. Because it's a little bit uh, longer than the previous level. Peru levels are very short. If you play this game, you know what I mean. They're really short. You can finish all of them in 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay, there's the second key. Uh, let's check that. Yeah, Neptune key at the NR scheme from the tomb of Kualapak. Now, we're done with this room too. There are two more to go. And, yeah. Let's get those two. You know. And at the very bottom bottom level, Pierre and two tigers are triggered. And yeah. I didn't take any damage. I was lucky there. Yeah, it's one of the coolest 
traps in all of the Tomb Raider games, man. I love it. I freaking love it. Look at this. Tower room and... <coughs> hammer. <coughs> what is its name? Mignonier, Mignonier, uh, something like that. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot. Okay, that would be enough. Yeah, let's push this, I think. Pushing this two times would be enough for us to climb up. One more time, Lara, please. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Awesome. Let's take this move on. And do a running jump and grab the ledge. Take the turkey. Okay. Now let's do the same jump again. <coughs> Climb down like this and one more time. Let go. And one more time I'm gonna save my game in here because I know I save a lot in this level, but I don't want to take any damage on this, so please understand. Okay. Now we need <clears throat> just one more room to go. And it's Democles room, or I don't know how to pronounce it too. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm really bad at pronunciations. My bad, but I'm sure, you sh I'm sure you're gonna understand me. Okay. And the real story about this guy is really cool, I think. Yeah. I don't know if you're interested in mythology, Greek mythology, but this guy's story is really cool. And I don't want to tell it right now because I'm really bad at telling stories. But you can check it out. It's a very cool story. And yeah, the meaning is very strong in this story, believe me. Anyway. And this room is designed according to this story. Falling swords from up, you know, uh, from the ceilings and... <coughs> what the heck? Yeah, that's great, that's great. I was just gonna say, oh, I didn't fail in this level. Great, and then I died two times. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't speak early. And sorry about the repeating soundtracks. It can be annoying sometimes, but it's the uh, one of the best side of this game. It's a very old game, and although this is my favorite Tomb Raider game, my favorite game of all time, this very first game, Last Revolution and the Angel of Darkness. Unfortunately, this game hasn't aged well. It's my first PC game, by the way. Yeah, I remember playing it as a kid and walk walking me, running around. Me stupidly in the cave level as a kid I didn't know what to do even in the cave level and you know the controls of this game is really hard actually you know the tank controls just like in the classic older Resident Evil games the controls, controls were very hard and <clears throat> it isn't easy to get used to the controls oh my god it was very close what am I doing? Ooh. I'm gonna save it. I don't trust myself, I'm gonna save it. Okay, just hug the spider and yeah, just like that. Okay now Oh, oh come on, I hate it! Oh, that's enough for us to 
go. Go. <coughs> finally, finally, I don't know why it took so long. Just because I let's play this game, because I'm sure when I don't let's play it, I can beat it without dying, but unfortunately it's the curse of let's playing, like I said in every Tomb Raider level that I let's play. We got all the keys, but the, the hardest part is coming up right now. I died. Again. Very cool. Okay, let's try one more time. Uh, <laughs> just pretend it didn't happen. You never see it. You never saw it. Just pretend it never happened, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna use a big one. Large one. <laughs> I am spinning my back, but I have no choice. I have no choice because of this stupid PR. Look at this. Look at him. And I'm about to die again. I don't want to spam all my back, so I don't care if I die or not. And I think he's escaped again. Actually, not escaped. He's disappeared again. What an interesting guy. <coughs> what a weirdo. Anyway, let's place the four keys that we got from the rooms that's the first one by the way you can see these animations just like I did by pressing the look button uh, sorry about the uh, sorry about that I'm a little bit easy, so sorry about my voice okay and let's place the last one and open up the door gate Next level, yeah, that's it. We finally finished this level, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another level. And I'm also gonna be playing Tomb Raider 2013. Yeah, that's correct. I finally pronounced it quickly. <laughs> anyway, uh, see you later. Take care.